let's show how the vector group feature works with an imported DXF file. So DXF is our vector file format importer and you can import DXF files found from the internet or anything that we have created in other software packages uh, such as Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator and then export it as a DXF and then you open in our DXF importer and there's all of those lines that that do appear. You can scale this to whatever size you want and then you create a board. Now one thing about scaling when you're doing V carving uh, you've got to understand the width of your bit is the widest point that any one of these routes can really go uh, without it bottoming out uh, and creating either flat areas or little peaked areas in the bottom so if you want just clean V lines you'll want to keep it down to where none of these lines get past uh, the width of your V bit alright so let's just add the new board and we'll click finish okay the lines have appeared on the board I usually turn off the label labels I usually turn off the labels right away so I'm not seeing all of these control points or the, all those attached numbers so I'm not seeing all of those numbers and then with all of this already selected we can just go ahead and click we can go ahead and click make vector group so now a lot of times when you're importing vectors you'll get messages like this so that's telling you that uh, there's an open shape or there's something that's overlapping something there's intersecting points and it's highlighting where the offending areas are so we can zoom in and see what's going on so we can see here that this circle shape here is intersecting with this and that they've got a point here that is overlapping another one since this is v-carving they can't touch each other okay and then it also highlighted this one up here let's see if we can see what's going on there it looks like these two points are intersecting each other So we make our little minor adjustments here. And we can select all again and click on the vector group. And now it's accepted all of that. We don't have any more intersecting points. And we can go through and choose what we're going to route on this one so this one being very intricate we can route all these thin lines and these bigger shapes here or we can go the opposite way and route this leaving the thin lines uncarved uh, I think this one actually will probably look better we can also decide which bits to use maybe the, the 60 degree will give us a nice deep route Okay, and to get a better view on this, we can turn off our wood grain, but we can also go under view to toggle construction lines, and it'll take away those dotted lines, and then we can just see the the whole V-carved shape here. So these can be very intricate uh, way of doing some some carving work. And you'll find lots of free DXFs online. Okay, and just like any other vectors, uh, 
this can be used in conjunction with your conforming vectors add-on if you do have that. So I can draw and make a dome here. Uh, which actually kind of automatically looks kind of nice the way that it, it tapers off there. But we can view in our carving list we can select that vector group and then we can use that conform tool from conforming vectors to make all of those vectors actually conform to that dome. So if we want to start getting very very intricate with what we do with those v-carve features we can apply them to any carved shape that we want. We can also take this whole thing and make it into a pattern that we carve out rather than v-carve out at another point too if we so desire. So that is using the powerful vector group features with an imported DXF. Thank you.